<laughs> like a baby. So we are leaving tomorrow afternoon. Um, should we talk about today first? Sure. So today we got up 6:30. We left seven. We went to the Black River. And it was really, really hot today. It was so hot. Luckily, we were just like on the boat. But now I'm officially had my first sunburn. And it was just so, so hot. We saw some squirrel monkeys, lots of birds. And then Kyle had the spot of the day. He found a sloth. Found a sloth so close to us we've got a bunch of footage of that what we didn't explain that we also have footage of <laughs> um, we spent about an hour with that sloth because it so it was a juvenile female sloth and it was kind of out in the open and our guide was worried about it because it was too exposed so either it was gonna get like captured by a local to like become a pet or the real worry though was that it was gonna get eaten <laughs> and so, so we spent maybe like <laughs> 20 minutes taking pictures and maybe even less taking pictures and and then we spent 40 minutes trying to encourage it to go more inwards to the jungle to be <laughs> more camouflaged. So they were like tying sticks together and like kind of poking at it like they weren't hurting it at no, all. No they were not. Um, and then like wrestling the trees and the leaves to try to get it to move in this thing did not want to move. Um, it was really fun to watch it like move in the wild and it was um, so close to us. We saw another one today that was really far away and we also got to watch that one move around but this one was so close and um, and at one point <laughs> another like tour comes by and um, the Spanish they speak here is a little different. For example like pollo is pollo so it's been harder to understand but I'm pretty sure our guide basically said oh pretend I'm going to the bathroom so the other tour wouldn't like see the sloth because it was like a um he's like oh that's a city kid because most of the guides here were born in the jungle as they call it and so he didn't want the city guy <laughs> to see it and question him and whatnot and so it was it was just super funny it was so hot and we spent like an hour there it was <laughs> really funny to i would have done it differently to encourage the sloth to go more inwards because at first it was working but then the sloth started climbing higher so yeah. then they had less <laughs> and what was really silly is at one point the sloth is holding on to a branch and is reaching for the other branch <laughs> and it is not even close <laughs> To getting that other branch but it was so funny to watch it just reach out and try it doesn't look like an animal because it's like moving so slowly and it's just like reaching out also so Kyle spots the sloth and so then the guide and the boat driver realize it and so they're like okay let's turn the boat around so we turn the boat around and then when we come to see it it's peeing yeah and so there's this huge stream <laughs> It um, for like a good minute. Like just coming from the tree. It was the craziest thing. It's so funny because when we were on Monkey Island the other day, there was also a monkey that peed. And yeah, they just like from the trees just... Whip it out. <laughs> and it just drips on. It's not even dripping. Like it's full on waterfall. It was really funny. So it's I a rainbow sure. today too. <laughs> yeah. Not from the sloth. Not from the sloth. But we did see a rainbow in the Amazon, which is pretty cool. So It's a Peruvian rainforest. Rainbow. <laughs> Rainbow. Rainbow. Um, That's bingo. And the boat ride back, it was just so hot. So I kind of slept through it and I got sunburned. So we were back for lunch. And then we, so yeah, we relaxed a bit, had lunch, relaxed a bit. Then we went back to the um, little conservation zoo to hold the sloth again. Hey, like a baby! <laughs> um, these are sloths that they're kind of rehabilitating and, um, <laughs> and so we wanted to go back since we could hold them and they're super friendly and a lot of the monkeys actually in the wild are friendly too. Um, 
So yeah, so we held the sloth again. Then we went swimming again. And it was like the most beautiful yeah. swim. Like it was just... So beautiful. Like it was a bit before sunset, but the sun's just starting to fall and there were some clouds. <laughs> <laughs> really romantic. The water is so nice. I just, I've loved the swims that we've had. So, that was pretty much our day. And so we leave tomorrow. We're still really confused on what the game plan is. So we wake up and go dolphin watching tomorrow at 5.20. We come back, have breakfast. After breakfast, we relax and pack our bags. Then lunch is at 12 tomorrow. It's early. So then we have lunch and we're going to go zip lining and then head back to Aikido's. We don't know if the zip lining's in Aikido's or if it's on the way. But yeah, we'll be back to the land of internet and electricity and hot water. Because here we don't have hot water. We get electricity 6 to 9. And sometimes they turn the water off. And we don't know when or why. It just turns off sometimes. It just turns off sometimes. And that's okay. <laughs> Except when I shower, I rinse, and then I suds up. And I Really and well. I, so I turn the water on, I rinse, turn the water off, suds up, turn the water back on, and the water wasn't on. And I spent <laughs> maybe 15 minutes. Just in there waiting just for it to come back. standing in the shower with a lot of soap. It was really funny. And then, just a bit ago, I was washing my hands. <laughs> turn the Same water thing. on, rinse my hands, turn it off, suds, turn it back on, and the water wasn't turning on. Yeah. So anyways, but I'm clean now, don't worry. Clean hands and clean body. Okay, a couple more things I wanted to mention. It seriously was so hot today that like I just kept on like going into the shower and just rinsing off because it would cool me down for a bit. And second, um, something that we only kind of discovered fairly late in the game but sometimes there is um, a connection on the water so on the river a lot of people start like using their phones and making calls or like going on Facebook and whatnot because you get a bit of a connection there I got connection like once like I said we discovered late in the game but I thought that was really interesting so anyways it's probably like eight a little after eight mm -hmm. so lights out is about an hour so we're going to get to bed so we can wake up early tomorrow and hopefully we'll be good about vlogging tomorrow yeah we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but this is our last night in the amazon we'll talk more about it in a hotel <laughs>